So you might be in a position where for some reason your iPad can't search for an update. You might be getting a little pop-up that basically says unable to check for update when you go ahead and actually try to search for an update on your iPad. The very, very first thing that I would recommend doing though is to completely hop out of your settings application. So if you're into it, just like so, just go ahead and multitask out of it. Just go swipe out, swipe out of that application, and you want to go ahead and see if that ends up you know, fixing the situation. So open up your settings application once more, click on general, click on your specific name right there, click on software update, and that may end up fixing the problem for the most part. Now, if that still doesn't you know, work, the next thing I'd recommend doing is checking your Wi-Fi connections. So if you're using your cell connection on your iPad or your you know, Wi-Fi connection, just go and go into your you know, drop-down panel here, hold down on this little you know, option here, hold down on your specific Wi-Fi option here, and just go ahead and reconnect to a better Wi-Fi connection. Go ahead and turn your iPad onto airplane mode, then turn it back off, seeing if that ends up fixing it. You can also go back on cellular connection, see if that ends up fixing it too. Those are a few things that you may just want to try checking out. You know, first of all, typically whenever I do anything like this at all and I get these types of pop-ups, typically it's because my Wi-Fi connection is weird, but also it may be because your iPad one, may not be supported on the latest version of iPad OS, and sometimes it's glitching out, or maybe the update that's about to come out, meaning that if an iPad update just came out right now, you may not, you may be too early for it, basically. So even if you're on iPad OS 16 and 16.2 is out and 16.2.1 just came out, if a lot of people are trying to update at the same time, you can randomly get that little bug that comes up that just says unable to check for update. That's another thing that can happen. So you may just have to wait it out until it fixes itself. And if that still doesn't work, you may want to go ahead and restart your iPad. Typically, it may even take a few restarts to actually get that pop-up to come up. But like I mentioned, you may just have to wait it out, and it'll end up fixing itself in no time. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the, right, hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video.